Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. It's Raj here. For all those who are new here or all those who don't know me, I'm currently a student on a gap year and I'm going to be starting college this September. So in today's video, I'm going to be reading to you all the personal statement that got me into universities in the UK. So yeah, the aim of today's video is that I'm going to read to you all the one essay, the one personal statement that helped me get into the University of Manchester, University of Edinburgh, University of uh, St. Andrews to name a few. And so that it gives you a basic idea of what a personal statement or an essay in the UK generally looks like. So what a personal statement actually is. A personal statement is an essay in which you write about yourself, your achievements, why you want to study a particular course and why do you want to study that course in the particular university and also if you're an international student, why do you exactly want to go to the UK to study whatever you, you, you want to study. So if you're a student also applying to the US or if you've heard anything about es the essays that the colleges in the US ask, in the US the essays are also called personal statements but they are a very personal account of yourself. In the essays that you submit to the US, you write about uh, a personal thing about yourself which shows the admissions officer, which shows the person who is reading your essay, something about your life that is not apparent in the other parts of the application. And the other parts of the application have their particular place in the US application system. For example, in the if you are applying to the US, you will have a different section for listing out your extracurricular activities, the things that you do outside your classroom. You'll have an extra section for listing out your honors and achievements of what all you have achieved in your school, in your particular field of study. But in the UK, there's no different sections for all that. You will have just one section for your grades and another section for listing, uh, for writing your personal statement. And so you have to include all the things like your extracurriculars like which course you're studying, why you're studying that course, if you have any skills relevant to that course, if you've had any experience related to that course, and all of that condenses in that 47 line, in those 47 lines. So you have to include a lot of Im information in those 47 lines without sounding too braggy or without just talking about yourself, I did this, I did that, and also letting the admissions officer know a personal side about yourself. So it's a very tough job to write a personal statement, so today I'm going to be reading the personal statement that I wrote. I personally took around 20-25 days to write this too. I went, uh, I did a numerous edit editing, on, I did numerous edits on this essay and then I came with this. So yeah, just a disclaimer though that this is not a very perfect essay. This won't be your, uh, your template for writing your essay, it is just a above average if not average essay so please don't think of it as a as an essay as a type of essay that you should write so there's no particular type that you should have just keep that in mind another disclaimer is please don't try to plagiarize this essay please don't copy this essay because if the college that you're applying to finds out that this and they will find out that this essay has been copied they will immediately cancel your admission even if you're admitted to the university so please be careful with that so that's it so now without any further ado, I'd like to start reading the essay. On my 14th birthday, I reckon, I started reading a book called A Brief History of Time. This was a point in my life where I did not understand what the word physics exactly meant. Out of spite, I started reading the book which got me hooked from the very first page and amazingly, I had finished the book within a couple of days. Little did I know about the author when I was that age. Also, many things in the book were not quite apparent to me then, but somehow, with some hardship along the way, I was through. So I consider it safe to say that Stephen Hawking indirectly invited me into this fascinating world of physics, the exact meaning of which is not yet very clear to me, and that is what I wish to attain from your university. From a very young age, I always wondered why something happened. I used to ask my middle school teachers about many things and always asked why to any answer they gave me. But they always failed to satisfy my quest to understand why. A series of whys, I realized, can never end. You can never stop asking why to any answer somebody has given. I would rather have questions that cannot be answered than answers that cannot be questioned. These words from Richard Feynman struck to me and has made physics an enthralling world for me in itself. 
Studying physics in high school never seemed like a burden to me by any means. While many used to stick to the textbooks because the questions in the test were limited to it, I never really liked my school textbooks and they often seemed quite dull. It was then when I, that I stumbled upon the Feynman Lectures on Physics. This book made studying physics not a burden but more like reading a novel. The more I read it, the more curious I got and the more I disturbed my teachers with questions that had nothing to do with our class syllabus. But quite surprisingly, I even performed well in this test. Trying to turn my passion into action, I often tried of ways that I could actually use all of my knowledge that I had acquired. My school gave me an opportunity to act as a helping hand to the underprivileged children in the rural areas of our country. I used to go to the underprivileged households a couple of miles away from my school to try and help the children there understand a few things as they could not even afford a thousand rupee tuition fee. And to be honest, these children were full of growing potential and I always wish I could help them and many others in India once I'm financially capable of doing so. In grade 8, I also participated in an All India Robotics Championship, which was a 7-day competition held at the Indian Institute of Technology at New Delhi, where I stood third. This was the first ever place where I could actually say that doing physics was not just something that I loved, but it was also something that, that I could turn into a career. After deciding what to do, the very next step was to decide where it is that I could learn physics as well as I possibly could. And I did not even give it a second thought of applying to your university. In my country, natural sciences is not thought of something that could be a career, but only something which people did as a, as a hobby. But I remained steadfast on my decision in spite of many people trying to convince me not to do it. Even if I'm successful in my career in physics, I do not wish to collect honors and awards with regard to my work. But I will try to do something which benefits a common man. Studying at your university is quite an exciting prospect, as then I would be studying something which the alumni have themselves created or found out, given the rich history and heritage of your university. As a student of your university, I will try to stand up to all the challenges thrown my way. I will focus on my path to be a successful alumni of your university, if you consider me talented enough to be a part of your ever-growing community. So yeah, so that was the personal statement or the essay that got me into the universities that I mentioned. I'll write down the complete list of the universities that I got into in the description box. So one thing that you should notice is that I did brag. I did brag in, in the essay. I talked about one or two of my achievements. But that is something that you have to do because you don't have any other place in your complete application to on UCAS where you can mention your achievements, your extracurriculars. So the admissions officers have no way of knowing what have you done outside your classroom. So try and include as much as you can without crossing the limit, without list without literally listing everything that you've done. So keep it at the bare minimum just so that they get an idea that you have the experience required to succeed in that field and that you have a genuine interest to succeed in that field. But also please notice that the essay formats in the US and the UK are very very different so do not try to combine these two and do not try to just make one essay out of them if you're applying to both the places. Try to be Original. Also, please uh, do not go onto Google, read many of those personal statements, get an idea and just try to copy that format and try to write in the same manner because that won't sound original and that won't, uh, that won't have your own voice in that essay. It is very important to have your own voice in these essays. Now in this video, I just read out, blankly read out my essay to you guys, but in the in, in later I'll be making a video in which I explain exactly how you should structure your personal statement, what goes where, how a perfect format should be like because there's not one textbook way to write essays. It is your personal thing, it is a thing that you should take time and you should perfect it while it has your own voice. So don't uh, you know don't write the essay and go to your teachers and tell them to improvise it. You can go, you can ask for suggestions. Now me, myself, I used to write one draft. I used to pass it on to my English teacher. She used to read it and she used to tell me that what she found was not working. And she just used to tell me without editing it. She just used to tell me. 
So that is exactly what you need to do. Take suggestions from as many people as you can, your friends, your family. Just make them read your essay. Tell them how they ask them how they think it is, and ask them to give their honest opinion. And that is how it it should work. And yeah, so that's it. But personal statement is a very important part of application. Always bear that in mind. Because in the UK there are only two main things, as I mentioned earlier, grades and personal statements. So both of them hold almost a 50-50 weightage. That is a recommendation from later. But from your side, I'm talking from your side. It's a 50-50 weightage on your grades, that is your marks in your examination, and your personal statement. So please try to spend as much as time as you can, as you possibly can. On this. So that's it from my side. I'll be back with another video very shortly. Stay tuned for the timing. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 oh,